Want to save hundreds of dollars off of your rent? Here's how. Hey guys, it's Adrian here, the Canadian in a t-shirt. And today I'll break down the best cashback credit cards in Canada to pay your rent and monthly bills. I've been able to save over $1,000 this past year just by using the right credit card for these monthly expenses. That includes my cell phone, internet, insurance, Netflix, and the biggest one, my rent. Yes, you can now pay your rent with the credit card. I'll show you how. And you can earn up to 4% in cash back every year by using these cards. That's free money. You don't get this benefit if you pay with debit or cash, but with a credit card, you have to be smart and always pay your balance in full. Let's jump in. Starting at the top, my all-time favorite credit card is the Scotia Momentum Visa Infinite. I've had this card for a decade and I love it because it gives me 4% cash back on my biggest expenses. This year alone, it's earned me over $1,000. I'll show you in just a minute. I get a whopping 4% cash back on groceries and recurring bill payments. Again, that includes my cell phone, internet, insurance, utilities, and this is the game changer, my rent. With this card, I'm able to save over $600 every year on my rent, and that's because of Chexy, a new startup in Canada that allows you to pay your rent with a credit card. With Chexy, you can use any credit card you want to pay your rent, but I recommend the Scotia Visa to get the most bang for your buck. Here's how it works. Your landlord gets paid the same, just as if it came from you. No change on their end. But now Chexy, they charge your credit card and that transaction is classified as a recurring payment. That's the key. And that's how you earn 4% cash back on your rent. This is a total game changer. I've been using it for over a year. In fact, 12 months ago, I invested my own money into Chexy. That's how much I believe in this company. And here's some big news. Until now, Chexy only worked with e-transfers. That's how I always paid my rent. But now, Chexy also accepts pre-authorized debits or PAD payments. So even if you have a corporate landlord or a property management company, you can now use Chexy to save some money. And you don't need to ask for permission either. Bottom line, if you pay rent in Canada, you can now use Chexy, whether you use e-transfer or pre-authorized debit. They both work. The only method that doesn't work is physical post-dated checks, but that's rare these days. Of course, Chexy has to charge a fee of 1.75% on your rent, so your cash back has to beat that to earn a profit. So all the cards in this video will give you at least 2% in cash back. That's why the Scotia Infinite Visa is the best. There's no other credit card in Canada that offers 4% cash back on recurring bills. Here's the math. I pay a fee of 1.75% to Chexy, and Scotiabank gives me 4% in cash back, so I earn a profit of 2.25%. My rent is $2,300 a month, so by using this strategy, I'm earning a net $600 a year. That's $600 I'm saving off of my rent. And on top of my rent, I'm also earning 4% on my groceries and monthly bills. Last year, I earned over $1,000 in cash back with this card alone. This year, I'm going to earn almost double because I got a second credit card. I'm not kidding. I now have two copies of the same card. Here's why. All credit cards have a spending limit on their rewards. With Scotiabank, their 4% is capped at $25,000 spent in a year above that and the rate drops to 1%. Normally, I would never spend 25K on groceries and bills. That's over 2,000 a month. But now that I'm using this card to pay rent, I did reach this 25K limit after about 10 months. That's when my 4% cash back hit the ceiling of $1,000. For the rest of the year, I switched my Chexy payments to another card, but now in November, my cash back total of $1,025 has been paid out and it reset. I'm back to earning 4%. That's why I got a second card. I don't want to worry about this limit anymore. So this year, I'm using one card exclusively for my rent, and the other card I use for my groceries and other bills. This way, I will always earn 4% cash back, even when I reach that $25,000 cap. Of course, having two cards means I have to pay the annual fee twice but this cashback more than makes up for it. Especially with this cool hack for gift cards, I earn 4% on any purchase in a grocery store, even gift cards. So use this to buy Amazon gift cards, Apple Store, whatever you want, and you'll get 4%. That's amazing. This card does charge an annual fee of $120, but you'll easily make it up, especially with rent. 
If you spend at least $3,000 in the year, the cashback pays for itself. And use my referral link below to waive this fee for the first year. That saves you $120. Plus, you'll get 10% promotional cashback on every purchase for the first three months or the first $2,000 you spend. That's a total sign-up bonus worth $320. So click my referral link below. This is easily my favorite card in Canada. And if you pay rent, it's a no-brainer. You also get mobile device insurance, travel insurance, and you'll get 2% cash back on gasoline. But again, I use this card for the 4% on groceries, bills, and rent. Check out this video for my full cashback strategy. I use a combination of seven credit cards, but the Scotia Visa is my number one. And note, to qualify, you need an income above 60,000 and a solid credit score. Before I get to card number two, I want to highlight the new pre-authorized debit feature with Chexy. I've already shown step-by-step -step how to set up Chexy using eTransfer. It's super easy. Check out this video here. With PAD, it's the same idea. You upload your lease agreement, enter your landlord's name, but you also need a void check. You don't want your rent coming out of your bank account. You want a credit card to earn that cash back. So Chexy opens a digital account for you called your Chexy wallet. This digital wallet is just like a bank account. You'll have an account number, transit number, institution number, and you give this void check to your landlord. For your landlord, it's the exact same as a regular bank account. No difference for them. They will automatically withdraw the money from this wallet every month. And Chexy funds this money every month by charging your credit card. That's how you earn that cash back. Plus, you get to boost your credit score along the way. Just like with e-transfer, you don't need to ask your landlord for permission. They don't even know or care that you're using Chexy. They get their money automatically every month. You just have to make sure to pay your credit card bill. When you sign up for Chexy, make sure you do it at least a few days before your rent is due, just to make sure everything is processed in time. I'll include a link down below to sign up and enter my referral code Canadian T-shirt to get your first month free. Next on the list, we have the TD Cashback Visa Infinite. With this card, you'll earn 3% cashback on groceries, gasoline, and recurring payments. Still great, and it gives you a better rate on gasoline, but overall, it's weaker than the Scotia card. For paying rent, you'll get 3% cashback, minus the Chexy fee of 1.75%, you're left with a net profit of 1.25%. And there's two more issues. First, it has a higher annual fee of $139. With that 3% cash back, you'll need to spend $4,600 to pay for itself. Second, it has a lower spending cap than the Scotia card. You can only spend $15,000 a year on groceries and bills before that 3% rate drops down to 1%. Scotia has a much higher spending cap of 25 k so it would give me an extra four months worth of rent. Plus, I get 4% cash back. TD only gets me 3%, but it's still a great card. A cool feature is that you can redeem your TD cashback anytime, as long as you have at least $25 saved up. You will need an income above 60 k I'll include the link below to sign up. For both TD and Scotia, if you bank with them and you have their premium checking account, they waive the annual fee on these credit cards. So keep that in mind. Next, we have the American Express Simply Cash Preferred Card. This is my second favorite card in Canada. I've had it for almost a decade, for good reason. It gives me 4% cash back on groceries and gasoline, which is amazing. And then for everything else, I earn 2% cash back. That's the best part. No matter what it is, what category, I earn 2% cash back with this credit card. That includes recurring bills and rent. This is the highest flat rate in Canada. I'll use the credit cards in this video to get higher rates for certain categories, but for everything else, I fall back to my Amex. This card comes with a monthly fee of $10, or $120 for the year, but the cashback easily makes up for it. As long as you spend $3,000 on gas and groceries, or $6,000 on everything else. When it comes to rent, you don't get too much of a profit. You'll earn 2% cash back with no spending cap, but minus the 1.75% Chexy fee, you'll only earn a 0.25% profit. Still free money, but far less than the Scotia or TD. Use my referral link below for a nice sign-up bonus worth up to $250. Up next, we have a brand new credit card that just came out this month, the Neo World Elite MasterCard. This card offers impressive value, but you really have to read the fine print. I'll explain. On paper, the cashback rates are incredible. 5% on groceries, 4% on monthly bills, 3% on gasoline. That's a dream come true. 
well worth the annual fee of $125. But here's the catch. These cashback rates have very low spending limits. For monthly bills, you only get 4% for the first $500 per month, above 500 and it drops down to 1%. For me, that's a deal breaker. With all my business and real estate expenses, I spend well above 500 a month, and that doesn't even include rent. So for me and my spending habits, I get much better value with the Scotia and the Amex. But it might be a great option for you, and since this card just came out, I wanted to put it on your radar. For their 5% rate on groceries, they have a much better spending cap of $1,000 a month. For most families, I think a thousand a month should cut it for groceries. Neo also offers extra cash back at certain stores, such as Boston Pizza and The Bay. It's a pretty unique card. I'll include my referral link down below to sign up. But this is important. Since this is a MasterCard, it won't work with Chexy. Chexy no longer accepts MasterCard. Their fees are just too high. So you can't pay your rent with the Neo card, but for groceries and smaller monthly bills, it's a great option. Link down below. So there you have it. Those are the best credit cards in Canada to pay your rent and monthly bills. Scotia is the overall winner, but it's good to have options. Check out the rest of my Canadian credit card guide, the videos with orange thumbnails. And to sign up for Chexy or any of these cards, use my referral links below for great bonuses. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Canadian in a T-shirt. Bye guys.